G'day team, I'm Belf and this is Dog Shadow Gaming, the channel where we live to game and game to live. And today we're looking at episode 5 in our Mordheim City of the Damned Let's Play. Oh, beginner's guide, I should say. Beginner's guide. Um, and now I created this series just to give people a bit of a hand. If you have watched episodes 1 through 4, you would have already seen a lot of it. Um, if there's anything that I haven't explained, please do ask, leave the questions down below in the comments and ask all about it. Uh, it's a really, really good strategy game based on the Warhammer fantasy lore. Um, set when there was a, a feud going on for the throne between Middenheim, um, Reichland and Marienburg. And uh, anyway, I won't go into it. You can watch episodes one through one through four. If you watch episode one, it has the starting clip and everything, and I explain a little bit more of it. This is aimed at guys, basically just an explanation of how the game works, what the mechanics are, and if you are looking at uh, potential builds for a witch hunter, you're starting your own a mercenary band up, then this might give you a couple of hints and tips on how to play them. Um, we are about six days in i think at the moment six or seven days in we've completed um well four missions for four episodes and uh the last one was a bit touch and go so let's get into it i have already explained the top here in episodes one and two and i explained this over here and i've explained the camp and all the features um we have already gone through um We've already gone through customization, skills, inventory, all these things in one through four. So if you do have any questions, again, leave it down below. Um, now, the general strategy that I'm using with these witch hunters is I'm using my priest who gets buffs for being in combat. He's gonna become our heavy parry tank. So heavy armor and he's, we're gonna really buff him into parrying. Um, so he's just basically gonna be standing at the front getting whacked on all day, all night. We do also do have a knight that's one turn away, which we will get in a second. I'll do it right now, in fact. Continue. And go to our warband. So we've got our knight back now. So what we'll do is we'll swap our, our second. We've got a, uh, a priest of Sigma. We've got two priests of Sigma and a priest of all, uh, Sigma uh, Ulrich priest as well, the Ulrich guy here. Uh, but what we're going to do is I want my heavy tanks back. I'm going to do this. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this. And we're going to get our heavy tank back in the line. All right, so we've got two heavy tanks. One standard um, knight, young blood, um, in full heavy armor. We haven't got helmets for them yet because it just hasn't happened yet. Um, I think one's rocking a sword, maybe. Let's have a look. What's he rocking? Ah, axe for armor absorption, uh, for armor penetration, sorry. And the other one's running a Sigmarite hammer for less divine wrath. And then we've got our firepower, our damage dealers in the back here. And then we've got basically our front line of chaff. So a lot of the damage realistically is coming out of these guys. Um, eventually we'll get the agility up on these guys and they will then go into um, probably Warhammers, I would say, because they have excellent, um, just excellent damage all up rather than the capsules here. Okay. All righty then. Now, let's move on. Let's have a look at our campaign. I don't think the, the shop hasn't changed or anything, and I don't think there's anything there we need. No, 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 nothing there. There, no. No, okay, cool. Let's go to campaign. Now, what do we got? We got hard crush the will. We won't be doing that just yet. We're not quite ready for that one. We've got another hard and we've got a very poor and poor wordstone rush. Let's just have a quick scout. Now you might have, if you're watching episodes one, two, and three, this is where having that um, veteran points into scouting just drops the coinage cost a little bit. Normal, very poor, very poor. Wow. Let's give it one more shot. Normal, average poor. Okay, so that's probably our, our bet. No, hang on. Where was that? Normal, crush their wheel. Okay, so it's another idle one. That was what we did last time. Both wall bands deployed tightly around their wagons. Okay, that's cool. That works for us. We're going to go with that. Your scouts have discovered a rival wall band in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. A very attractive target. Okay, we'll just let that. Uh, I'm just give me a second, guys, while I pour some tea. 
I tend to um, I tend to record these ones pretty late at night. Where I'm living, there's quite a lot of traffic. So trying to record it during the day is really tough because you get a lot of beeps and honks and all sorts of stuff. I'm my I'm right out I'm right on a main um, sort of a main thoroughfare or highway-ish type thing. And so I can I can't really do anything till about sort of nine, ten o'clock at night where it's quiet enough that you're not just getting a lot of background noise. Um, so yeah, this is my second recording for tonight. So I'm just gonna have a cup of tea while I'm at it. Now, let's have a look at the map. As always, whenever you start a mission, I've been saying this for the last four, and we'll say it right through all of them. Always start with the map first. Find out who it is that you're fighting. So vampires. So this, this is going to be, okay. So here's where morale and fear tests and all alone tests really come into play. Now, all the vampires will give you fear. Now, what fear does is it kind of paralyzes you guys. So if they would normally hit twice, if they don't pass the fear test, they'll only hit once. So, I mean, it's really strong. It's really strong. Early on, it's really strong. Later on, when you get... And there are certain people who just don't have any fear, um, like at all. Uh, later on, it can be... A little bit lackluster. It's like um, it's like the wind goblins. Early on, they are very effective, as if you watched the last episode, you would have seen. But later on, a lot of things have poison resistant that makes them um, not 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 even close to being as effective. So this is a bit of a, a rubbish situation for us. We've got three here. We're way away from all the words stone. We've got one little one here. Realistically, we're not going to put a, get a lot here. So there's two options here. There's not a good solid clue clumping of it. I don't, they're going to get to it well before I do. They're all clustered around their wagon. We're all clustered around ours. So the only question now is, do I let them pick it up and bring it to me? Remember that the, the scavenging is poor, so it's not worth going after it. If it's good, um, then it's usually purples and blues. If it's average, it's, it's blues and whites. If it's poor, it's... I mean, you might get a blue in there every now and again, but it's probably not going to be great. Uh, we'll probably get this. So the other question is, do I chase them or do I set up an ambush? Now, with the with the hunters here, the witch hunters, remember that my damage is coming from my guns and my guns are very fragile. So what we want is ambushes. We want lines of sight. We want shooting lines. That's all the stuff we want. Um, if we can't get those, uh, we're at a distinct disadvantage. Now, if you might remember episode one, we actually fought in here. Now, there is... Uh, and this is good because they're going to they're gonna be here. And they're going to be moving out through here. So, if we can move down to here, they'll get to about there. And then they'll come through here on the second turn. And they'll hit us by through turn three. We'll get down to about here by turn one. Here by turn two. We, mm, it might be close. Um, conversely, they can come up through here. They'll pick up all the words and come to us. But where do we have the shooting advantage? This is the this is the ticket. What we can do, or what we could do, is set up in here. This is a pretty big courtyard here. Could set a line up in here, have them come through the walls, and just shoot at them as they come through. That would give us the advantage with our guns. And we could line our guys. The only problem is that as they come through, they're either going to come around the back. They could potentially come through the house. Although that's not a huge issue. Um, they're more than likely they're going to come through here and move into here. They couldn't come around. But I think that'll be the ticket for us. We'll just set... We'll set the guns up around about here. We'll put a front line around here. And we'll just shoot into them um, as they come into us. We're not going to get a lot here. We're only going to pick up whatever they drop. Um, but this is more of a survival mission because, as I said, if we try to go after it here, we're going to get all separated. I've got guys that are really fast and I've got guys that are really slow. Um, so, yeah, not not worth separating and then getting picked off by the vampires. All right, let's get into it. So, uh, this guy is pretty fast. So we're going to sit him towards the back because we're going to want our heavier tanks at the front because, as I said, they're going to move a lot less range or distance. So he's fine there. Uh, he's a bit light armored. So I'll probably put him there. 
Uh, no, you can go right at the back. Longest range. Yeah, you can go at the back. Okay. Uh, no, because we want the setup there. So you're gonna go there. You go there. You go there. Uh, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. So our two heavies are standing right at the front here. Now there was one piece of this which I will pick up just because I can. Well, if I can. No, it's gonna. It's looking like I'm not gonna be able to. It's obvious. That was silly. Yeah, it's upstairs, so I'm not gonna be able to get to it. That's cool. the guy hanging on the gate. That's pretty tanky, isn't it? Okay, another trap there. We're not going to be hopefully not falling for it twice. Another trap there. Okay, so there is a door here. Which means we may get an engagement in it, which is okay. There's not a door on the back here though, so that means they've got to come right around the house to get to us. They can come through the house and through the door. That's fine. What we'll do. Can't get through the back of this barn. So if we kind of set up in an oval in here, we'll force them to come to us and make the engagement with us where our range will give us the advantage. Usually the other thing too is their zombies are really slow. So if you, with, with vampires, if you allow them to come at you, the vampires are basically always going to be the first ones to be attacking you which is exactly what you want because then you can isolate them, surround them and take them out. Remember that um, the vampires pretty much hold, like where the other teams, it's all about morale. <laughs> you, you don't want to be killing zombies. Zim zombies don't do anything. They literally do nothing. Um, actually, I like that. It's pretty good. If we could get up there, that would give us a fantastic engagement. Yeah. There is two entrances to this, so it is a little bit dodgy. Um, because they can get around. But we're gonna put two or three guys up here. And they're gonna shoot down. We're gonna use this as a shooting platform. And we're gonna put the engagement as close to the front of that door as we can. We've got a bit of time because we, I mean, the benefit of this is we're setting the engagement really close to us. They've got zombies. Zombies are moving really slow. Um, they'll be picking up all of the stuff as well as they come towards us, which is fine. No problem. Because um, when they come here, we're going to shoot them and take it off them. So have your enemies bring you all the goodies. So, I mean, that's what this game is. It's about taking... Because realistically, you don't know what's going to roll, right? You shoot, you might get a really great roll and you're sitting right next to this massive clumped up weird stone pile. Or you might get a crappy one like this where you are clumped against your wagon, which is great. You get sort of a great defensive start point. But, uh, you know, like the, the, all the weird stone, everything is miles away from you and just there's no way you're going to get that. At, you know what I mean? So that happens. We've got a little bit there. It looks like a large chunk there, which is nice. So we'll get a little bit. I might, uh, might run one of the tanks over there. Probably, sh if I'd seen that before, I would have run my leader. I must have missed it. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to run these guys down here because the engagement's going to be in there anyway. Cool. Now you might notice I keep moving them out of the way. That's because you can actually block the door. So you can just sort of be mindful of that. I've done it myself plenty of times. You've got other moves to come through. So you don't want to be blocking the doors. Now, where is the engagement going to be? Let's, uh, let's have a think about it. I want them to engage around about there. Anywhere on that ring, if they engage, I'm going to get shots off with my guys. Yeah? So this is actually a great place for him to just sit. Because they got to come into his engagement. Chaff in the front. Okay, again, we're going to... Yeah, that's good range. I 
If they come through the door, he'll engage there too. Now, the only problem with this is if they come through the door, you might get a one-on-one -on -one engagement and you've got chaff. But that doesn't mean they have to get through the chaff before they can get to your guys. You're also going to be shooting down on them the whole time. While they're engaged, you are taking a penalty to your hit chance. Um, you might have noticed that sometimes when I'm trying to shoot um, shoot one of the enemies and it's engaged with my characters, my, my percentage um, hit chance is a lot lower than if they're just standing out in the open and they're not actually engaged with anybody. So that's just what it is. As soon as they get engaged, there you... you I mean, all you can do is keep upping your um, chance to hit. It's always going to be a penalty. I'm going to move the knight as far forward as I can because I want him to go and grab that that uh, weird stone there and then I'll move him back behind the main lines. Look how many pieces are there? Oops. Should give him a word stone. Um, buff. So that was complete accident, but it did it. <laughs> it did the right thing anyway. Again, clicking the button too a fast. A new round has started. Okie dokie. Now this guy is, this guy is actually fairly chaffy, and what we're going to leave him. I kind of want to leave him at the back here just in case anybody wants to get smart but he's so here you might think oh if I put him here right if anything comes around he'll engage but then he's going to engage way out of the distance of our guns right so what we want to do is pull in a little bit yeah so they can't they're gonna they can't get through they can go in there but if they engage, they should just be inside of our gun range. We're just going to leave him exactly where he is. No need to get too up and down. There is something in here. There's a little bit in here. We might be able to get some stuff. Uh, I feel like we could probably get down there and get it with this hero. Oops, sorry. I've just knocked my mic. We could probably get down here and get it with the hero. But yeah, I just don't think it's needed, to be honest with you. I think we'll be perfectly okay. Um, there he is. Okay, so we're going to move up to here. Should give us line on everything. Basically, what we're trying to do is allow our gunners to get up here. Should be fine. Cool. Okay, we still haven't seen them yet, which means they're still running through here. They have picked up two of the wardstone. None of the um, patches yet. The search points. Okay, so we're going to move this gunner up to here. Yeah, how far across that? Ah, so that's as close as I can get. Okay, we've got another overwatch. That's uh, potentially... What's that? Does he get to shoot twice? No, I think it's still only one shot at this point. Once they level up a little bit more, we should get two shots out of this guy. I'm not sure on that one, actually. One of them's just got to see us, basically, is what happens. What do you got? You got 50... F uh. Okay. So... This guy, and we're going to put... Yeah. Okay, he's gonna stay right where he is. And this guy is gonna stay right where he is. So there might be a little bit of this as we wait for them to move up to us. Might move this guy out to 
to here. And the reason we're doing this is because it still should be outside of our arc, but I want to try to protect that jump point there. So it's gonna, they're going to have to go right all the way around. Okay, that might mean the engagement happens out here, but I need to protect my squishy backline gunners. Um, hopefully it won't. Hopefully they'll go in. If they do, if they do, well, they'll still be in gun range, so that's, that's important. Uh, right, this was our first guy. And he had no way of getting up there to get that particular piece, unless he goes back around the back, which we're not going to do. So, if we get up here, let's see if we've got some space here to get shooting at. Looks like we do. How far can I go? That's as far as I can go. Okay, and this is it. We now have overlapping Overwatch. Um, we've got a firing squad, basically, guys. And this is where our damage is going to come from. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the, either one of the vampires to see us, which will, they'll move, the more turns in, the more they'll move away from their zombies. It's a bit like us, at the moment, like, we're a lot faster than those two guys in heavy armor. The zombies don't necessarily, I don't think they can wear heavy armor, to be honest with you, but um, they move really slow, like they are wearing heavy armor. Uh, to, truth be told, I've only played the vampires a couple of times and not very extensively. Um, I've played against them a lot. I haven't played with them a huge amount. Uh, every time I try to play them, I don't know. I don't know. It, there's something about the fact that you lose the zombies, that they are really, really trash. Like, they're, you're just, they're literal cannon fodder. And that kind of, for me, it's like I like the whole doing your warband up and sort of making them better and better and better. So I kind of, I get to a point where I really, I've named all my guys, you know, changed all their different appearances and, oops, hang on, we're not doing that. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I don't want to do that. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Um, so yeah, normally I, I kind of prefer to have, like even my frontline guys, the ones we've got here are chaff and, you know, they might drop and so it's okay, but uh, generally, they do start to get better and better and better and so you you start to then have sort of choices it's kind of like oh yeah they are chaff but i don't really want to lose them <laughs> so you know they become important i suppose uh, they matter whereas zombies i don't know I, again you, like a vampire player might say oh well, they still do but um to me no not really i wonder where that is is the question oh here we go they've seen us We've seen them. I might be able to sneak him in there. Because it looks like they're all coming straight for us. As planned, all their heroes are at the front, which is cool. We're going to move, move our boy here to the back of the bus. We'll put him... Yeah, we're going to put him right here. A new round has started. Okay, let's see if we can zip in here quickly. Oh, looks like it's upstairs. Can we jump down if we go up there? That's the question. If I go up there, is there any place to jump down? Not in the front. And if I zip out here, just have a quick look. Not in the back. So if you go up there, you're potentially going to get caught. What is the other entrance like? Okay. So this is the only entrance. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, so they can't get in here. So I'm pretty safe to go up there. And take what it is. Hopefully it's worth the trip. Now, where are you? 
in this room. Yeah. There you go. Well, I like we're gonna get a little weird stone. Not a lot. Well, it depends on what they drop too. Uh, what have they got? 64, 64. Vampire is gonna go before my knight gets a chance to get back. Although he shouldn't be able to engage. Yeah, we're just gonna I'm just gonna sit all nice and overwatchy here. So that vampire is sitting there. He'll get a shot. He might be able to get into here, but my knight should be able to move out of the way. My... I think what's going to end up happening is this one's going to engage somewhere around here. Oh, that's the vampire leader there. He's got a bow and arrow. That is something you don't see very often. They usually tend to go dual, dual wield or, um, you know, heavy weapon or something like that. They don't usually... You know what we're going to do? We're going to tuck this guy around the back here. And we're just gonna go. Gonna go. A bit of that action right there. And really, we don't want him to engage there. Probably could have pulled him back a little bit more, even, to be honest. Yeah, you're good where you are. Yeah, should get all three shots there once the engagement happens. Either way, they break the engagement, the engagement happens one way or the other. It's, it's all pretty good, really. Move up to here. Solid defense. We're good at that. Yeah, good. Okay, with the vampire leader being an archer, that is interesting because he's not going to come in like they normally do. Uh, normally they'll have like a big two-hander or the dual wield, like I said, or occasionally they'll have the uh, like a sword and board. Oh, you get to my there you go. Didn't think you'd get the opportunity. But there you have it. So we're actually going to want to pull back from this engagement. <laughs> we're winning it, so that's okay, but... I don't know if we're going to have range. If we have range, because they're, they're not going to be able to get anybody else through there, which means they've got to come around the side of this van. Here we go. <laughs> Straight into the trap. Watch shot, stunned, beautiful. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, we can disengage and pull back. Or I can do the attack. Let's disengage with. Dodge stance, parry stance, delay, and turn. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> it is what it is then. <laughs> so we'll win this engagement pretty heartily by the looks of it. And we're going to parry stance. Parry's not quite there yet. We're at 46%, which means we've got an under 50 50 chance, which isn't amazing. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is engage on her. I should have charged that because she's <laughs> I'm taking, gotten the extra damage, but I'm gonna get to <laughs> off anyway. Oh, and we've got another crit. Take the parry. She will get up in the next one if we don't get shots off here. Something else is fairly heavily armored at 26. That's pretty much an all heavy armor. A new round has started. Okay, now we're upstairs. Did we get it? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, worth it. Big that was a that's a large cluster. That's well worth it. Cool, that was worth a little trip. We need a lot more in this house. Alright. Uh, I've got a positive wind stone. 
It doesn't happen very often. Okay. Well, I mean, you can. Yeah, I think you can just. Got some lovely weird stuff. We might actually. Nah, we'll just sit you back here. You're all good. You're here to protect our rear. Not that I think we'll need it, but still, nevertheless. Yeah, we're gonna get a shot off here. Doesn't look like we will. Okay, so the engagement's forward, so I'm not gonna get shots off. So what I'm gonna do. No, are you kidding me? I've blocked myself. There's really nothing I can do. Okay, well, you know what we can do. Oh, hang on, I can get a shot off. Didn't see that before. There we go. We're doing 63. Not too bad. Should get a reload. And excellent. Okay. Not too bad. We're going to defensive stance. Um, dodge stance. Not that we need to, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, we can hit this guy's gonna engage. No, ambush stance. Okay, so he's gonna get the go on the priest, or he's gonna have a go at one of my other guys. So I'm just gonna charge him with one of the, the chaff. Um, and he can take the shot at them instead. But before we do that. He does benefit from that um, charge stance, but now he's got no. Just gonna end the turn. There's not a lot I can do there. I'm gonna bring the engagement. Cool. All right. This is a far, far shorter turn than it was uh, our last one, where we almost got completely massacred by the rat men. <laughs> okay. So here we're gonna do the gang up. And. I think in the last one we just got really unlucky roll because that they were pretty advanced. They had quite a lot of heroes, quite a lot of armor. Um, you're seeing the difference between the two now. <laughs> we just wrecked him in three shots. Cool. Let's see what you picked up, if anything. Oh yeah, brought me some weird stone. That's cool. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit him. Back over here, I'm gonna pull back in a little bit. And we'll end the turn. Don't wanna edge out too far. Okay. This vampire leader's just sitting all back of the bus. Not really getting involved. It's far, far, far too far away to be doing anything useful. So we're gonna move this guy back to around about here. Enable us to stop anybody trying to climb up. Not that I think it's going to happen at this stage. Okay. Well, did we get poisoned? I'm going to reload. Yeah. Bugger. Okay, not a lot else we can do. It's alright, he's done pretty well so far. Finally, we got some necromancer action going on. This is their mutant character. It looks like the hunchback of Notre Dame. They're one vampire down. It doesn't look like we're gonna get gonna send all his chaff in first for us to deal with that's okay because we've got the we've got such a overwhelming superiority at the moment two down and soon to be three he does have some heavy stuff though <laughs> you. so we'll pick up anything he's picked out Okay, so the only question is, what do we want? Uh, we could have another shield, I suppose, or the hammer. 
feel like the hammer would be most benefit at this point. Uh, yeah, let's go the hammer. Okay, and we'll exit from that. And we're going to pull back. I'm just sitting back here. Uh, actually, pull back a little bit further. Could have engaged there, to be honest with you, but... This shouldn't be that much of an issue. I haven't actually seen any... Yeah, he's left his zombies way behind. She A was new round has wheel. started. Okay, cool. Again, this is kind of like a, you know, by the numbers type stuff. Super perception. Just the giggles. What do we got? Yeah, there's a trap. Ah, oh, that's a trap there. Cool, all right. Just end the turn. Uh, we're going to race this guy up here, I think. What happened to all his gear? I certainly didn't take it all. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll move you in and surround you a little bit. We'll take a couple of shots. Um, yeah, it's fine. We'll probably take a hit, but it's okay. Okay. Have we got a shot here? We, we have a 30. 33. Anything better? Oh, there was a 48. Nope. Missed again. Yeah, not much we can do. Okay. This vampire is going to do this turn, I wonder. Right, can't get a shot. Why can I not get a shot? Surely I could get a shot. Okay, I think you're going to drop down. What are you going to do, Vampire Lord? Very, very odd. That's the first time I've ever seen the Vampire Lord come with a bow and arrow. Like, very odd. Never, never seen it before. Not exactly optimized, I'd say. We'll go down the next volley. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just make sure. <laughs> down he goes. What have you got for me? I'll take that. So we're getting a bit of wardstone. Not a huge amount, but getting a bit of something. And we'll take that. And we'll move back around about here, I think. Yep, and the tail. 
Yeah. There we go. Uh, yep. What do you got for me, buddy? Oh, GeForce Game Ready Driver. Just like hiding in the buildings, I suppose. Uh, just move back. So, what's that? With uh, two heroes and two ghouls, we've lost four. A new round has started. We might do. We might hop down. If he doesn't start moving in, we've got enough advantage now. We can pull up and shoot him. I think we got everything here, didn't we? What are you going to do, mate? Who are you sending in? I'm going to move this guy down. And you know what? Just sit him right there. All right. He's only got four characters left. Got one zombie. Where's that zombie? That's dead. The zombie must be somewhere. Zombies here. Okay, the vampire lord's just sitting at the back there for some reason. Okay, we're gonna move up. An overwatch fire if he does come out. Not, but that's okay. This guy is the bait. There we go. It's in light up. <laughs> it's in cloth with the bow and arrow. Okay. Oh. This was a very poorly put together bit warband. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> He's engaged now. He's got his necromancer at the back there. He's now going to come in. Uh, that's cool. Couldn't wait any longer on there, um, engage, so that's alright. And then... What is this, 49? He's taken some pretty heavy losses, isn't it? Um, zombies will uh, shamble out, that's alright. Chaff for chaff, that's fine. Okay, let's move in with our knight. And our priest is going to move in. Can't get any further, so I'm going to pull him over to here so that I don't... 
that was not exactly what I meant to do, but that's okay. We're gonna sit here. Twenty-six heavy armor. Whatever it is. Possibly another vampire. A new round has started. That's a bugger. Okay, it's that for you. Gonna move up. I'm just gonna sit right here just in case something decides to try and come at um, at us from the back. Let's see what we've got here. Miss. There we go, we got the hit. Where's this? Now the zombie is blocking, you've got one engagement blocking that door, so it's got to go all the way around, which is not great for a zombie. 51. Have we got a... That's the one I was after. Nice. Trap. That's about it. Okay. Disengage. I'm trying to get an Overwatch. Clever. It's the only clever thing he's done the whole game, though. <coughs> Line of sight. <coughs> chance dodge so not too bad slowly coming up uh, we can get a double engagement here <laughs> that's one of our newer guys okay we're gonna move in to the back and down he goes this should almost be... Depends on what's left. You've got the... So you've got the vampire guy at the back here who is... Um, yeah, there you go. They had to take a, a warband check because they just lost so many people, but still. All he's got is... All he's got is basically zombies. And when zombies don't get down, they actually don't... You don't lose anything to morale. So whenever you're fighting vampires, you absolutely don't want to bother with them. I mean, the last thing you want to do is engage them. You almost want to try and run around them and just engage their heroes. Uh, now, he can't do a lot. This is going to be an engagement for our... If I put him there, I just put him into harm's way, but you know what, I'll just move him over here. <laughs> Engage this zombie and we'll knock it down quick. It won't actually touch them around. <laughs> just take it down. Maybe it's picked up something. And uh, now... I don't think I can get an engagement on the other side. Can you get around? You can. <laughs> the zombies are pretty good. I, they don't feel fear. I'm pretty sure they're, they're immune to fear. They're immune to all alone. So they make, I mean, they're just, they are really good. If used correctly. This means that, I'll, like, I, mean, I suppose we're doing a very similar thing here, but our, our frontline chaff guys can still put out a fair amount of damage and do pretty well. Um,. A new round so has this started. Means you've 
your vampires are your damage and your morale so you kind of in some ways take a lot of risks because if you've got to get them like unless they're all running bows and they can't run guns right so they've got to try to generally they've got to get up and getting fairly close to do a lot of their work i'm gonna just sit right i want him to engage there so i can at least get two on them I can at least get two people that'd be good all right, right we're gonna reload we're gonna have to bring this vampire down from range that we've seen One. Cool. Should get another shot. Should be, yep, aim shot. That will be all she wrote, I would say. Yep. There's just all zombies left. So this was pretty by the book, pretty straightforward, by the numbers. Um, a little bit boring, guys, I know, but if we'd run in there, um, we would have got surrounded. And that's... Uh, you are off. the instrument of Sigmar's justice, bringing his righteous wrath upon those who would sow their evil in the lands of men. Such work is the most sacred honor the faithful can embrace. Yes, we the faithful. Okay, so let's have a look. What did we get? Yeah, surviving the mission. Rally ra. Okay, nothing too amazing. Outstanding. Again, nothing too amazing. I'm just going to sort of move through these guys. All pretty straightforward. Cool. Oh, we got a purple pendant out of that. That wasn't too bad. A bit of word stone, a little bit of stuff. So interesting. We'll pay our guys first. Confirm and we'll pay. We'll go back. Our knight has got some abilities. So I mean, first thing we're going to be doing is that uh, that strength. Um, this gives his toughness and all his resistances as a as a tank. That's what you really need him for. Um, then our leadership. Can we get that um, past those all alone terror tests and fear? And quite often he's going to be all alone. That's really important. And keep going. Uh, ballistic accuracy. Yep. From range. Uh, agility. In case he gets caught out, needs to dodge. And I think we were just doing alertness here, weren't we? Sort of. Yeah, I think that's all we were sort of really doing. Um. Okay, so he got injured a little bit. Oh, that's uh, part of the injuries. Right, so leadership again for all alone and fear tests. And we're going, I think we're doing agility tanks. That's right, we're doing dodge and agilities. Uh, yeah, definitely agility. Uh, agility is now dodge is 65, which is pretty good. Uh, intelligence, yep. Keep going up in the intelligence line. Confirm. Alright, so we're now back at the start. So let's have a look, quick look at our inventories. And we'll go to equipment. What was this pendant? Chance to pass all alone and fear terror test by 15%. So that's really, really good. So, um, that's going to be really good on, on one of our tanks because they're most likely the ones that are going to be trying to be checked on that. So we'll go to... And I think it's the... I don't think the priests can actually wear a helmet. I don't think they're allowed to. Uh, so let's put it on him. Cool. All right. Uh, what else did we pick up? Let's have a quick look. And go into cell. We got a short bow. We got oh, we got a blue shield. Another pendant. Chance to pass all alone. Furious. Okay, so we can put our short bow and a shield on. We're gonna sell the mandrake and the madcap. Uh, yep. So we're gonna go run real quickly back to these guys, and we're gonna go 
the night and you're gonna yeah put that on until we get a helmet for you because the helmet's worth worth having uh our priest is our healer and he's not gonna get as tanked up as the other guy because he's got to put points into um he's got to put a lot of points into intelligence so he where well, the other one's going straight into toughness uh sorry uh i guess leadership i should say so it's uh it's probably evens out but that's all right. i want to keep the priest alive because he'll be healing us later on uh so every advantage will sort of go to him uh okay let's have a quick look at the knight he has a skill point available now so what's his first one when engaged with two or more enemies increases melee resistance by 10 percent not stackable so that's pretty good that's actually very strong so he has a point we can put something into him so i mean we can do something from here um although that is 180 and we've only got 470 so probably not worth it at this stage something quick would be shield specialist increases melee resistance and parry chance by five percent which is pretty nice his melee resistance right now is 17. Uh, this one increases his parry chance by 10 which would chunk him up to 56 parry so we're going to start with that one i'm going to pop that on him it's only 90 so that's pretty cheap and we can get it done okay and that's it for this episode number five in our series um stay tuned for number six that's coming out soon uh as always guys if you've liked the video i know this was a bit of a slower one but um so just some good tactics and, and reasons to start in certain places and sometimes you just have to have that match sometimes the odds are just out of your favor and you need to play a bit safer um we didn't play safe on the scaven one and look what happened there so that's it guys i hope you liked it please leave a like um leave some comments down below if you've got any questions or anything that you want to know about or you know just anything at all cool you can catch us on dog shadow gaming at on facebook on youtube um, you can catch us on instagram and twitter and very soon to twitch we'll be doing a bit of stream or oh, he's saying we it's i i will be doing streaming belt will be doing streaming um live so i won't be doing like the camera and stuff i don't think just um just streaming the gameplay and talking to people online so uh, if you're interested in that let me know other than that guys you have a great evening afternoon night whatever it is that you're doing and whatever you are all right thanks very much bye